Hey, welcome back to Shade Tree Mechanic. Well, what we're showing you are some of the tricks of the trade to help you get out of some of these tough spots. And even save some money. Now, if you're going to do a head gasket or change a cam on a Japanese engine with a timing chain like a 20R Toyota or something, you need a wedge to keep the tensioner from coming out. They're about $40. I'll show you how to make one out of a hammer handle. All right, now what we're faced with here, folks, is an age-old problem, and that's broken stud or a broken bolt. Now, in this case, the stud broke off outside the casting. A lot of times, they'll break off on the inside. But either way, if it's out like this, it makes it a little easier for you to get it out. First of all, I've tapped it a little bit to flatten it, and I've filed it down. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a center punch, and we're going to just center punch a spot right here in the middle. Make sure you get it exactly in the center, like that. Now, here comes the trick. What we're going to use are these drill-out power extractors. Now, these are special extractors that have a self-centering point on it that helps you get these out. And all we have to do, in this case, I think we're going to use about a 5 16 We'll just chuck it right up in our drill. And I'm also, I'm going to show you how to save some money by making a carburetor stand out of an old insulator plate. Now, this is an insulator plate that one in the base of a Motocraft two-barrel. Instead of throwing it away, save it. I take a bolt and a, and a nut Put this through, through the uh, base plate, tighten up the nut so it's double nutted on there. It makes a nice little stand. Okay, what you can do, of course, is set the carburetor right on it. Turn this around here. And this stand works good. You can rebuild the carburetor, work the throttle plates. You can put this in the bench rather than squeezing the base of the carburetor. Save you some money from buying a stand. and works great. All right, now what I'm doing, I'm drilling out our stud here. And once I get it down to almost a half an inch, I'm going to take this little collet right here on our extractor, run it up within a few threads, and then put it back in. And once I uh, start up the drill, then the collet will hook into the stud and should pull it out. And if you notice, this is turning backwards. Well, I got just a little bit farther to go before I reach that point, though. So those are really neat extractors. Just save some time, won't they? Just a few minutes, that's for sure. Well, I'll tell you what, if you take an engine apart, you've got an old connecting rod, save the connecting rod, so I'm going to show you how to make something out of it. Hey, Sam, show them that hammer handle you got. Oh, for the timing chain. So if you've got to work on a Toyota 2-liter, like a 20R or 22R or a 2-liter Nissan engine with a timing chain, remember the chain is hydraulically tensioned. If you go to take the head off, when you drop the chain off the cam wheel, the tensioner will come out. This is a tool I made out of a hammer handle. I just whittled it down a little bit, put a groove on it and a wire. You shove it down inside the front cover between the chain, and of course it'll keep the tensioner from coming out. You can take your chain off the top of the camshaft. After you're done, you know, changing your head gasket, put it back together and pull it out. Now they make this tool, and it costs about $40. You can make one out of a piece of wood like this, save you some money. Now let me show you what I was talking about with that connecting rod. All right, well we got it deep enough. Now what we'll do is we'll bring her collet up within a few threads of the bottom here. And we'll see if we can take her out. <laughs> well, as you can see, I don't think I've ever taken a stud out any easier than that. That saves a lot of time. And what makes it nice is it does have that self-centering.